This is an oil change video for the uh, Honda Ridgeline Generation 2. These are the main items I'll be using. Um, I've got an oil filter wrench that I picked up. This is critical to break the seal. This type is, is awesome, but it does not fit a, um, because the frame is in the way. So get yourself one of these. I've got the crush washer um, for the uh, drain bolt that you need. I've got a new Honda filter. I recommend you stick with Honda. Um, the one thing that I usually do is I usually write the date and the mileage on the bottom of the filter, just in case records get lost. I've got my socket wrench ready for the drain plug. Um, you need a 17 millimeter. Um, I got my torque wrench because we're dealing with a crush washer. We want to torque it to the correct spec, which is 29 pounds. And we hold 5.7 quarts. So I got five quarts and one quart to top it off. And you just want to make sure it's got the API label on it when you use it. And you need Z0W20. What you do is you warm the engine up to operating temperature. And then you crack and open up the oil drain fill right here. This kind of opens up an airway so that it can breathe when it drains. Underneath the vehicle, the drain pan is right up front. And we're going to be getting onto that nut right there to drain it. Okay, so I've got my nut broken loose. Got my drain pan and my gloves on. And I'm going to just let that fall into the pan. There we go. Oil doesn't hit the frame or anything. It's nice, neat, and clean. We're going to let that drain for a while. I'm going to use my oil rinse that I can't use. So to prep the filter, besides riding on the other end, is uh, you want to fill it up a little bit with some oil. And it's going to suck it in. The other thing you want to do is dip your finger in it and get this seal nice and moist. And... Uh, Usually two or three times you can get a decent amount of oil in these things. Just like that. If you're in the oil and take the filter off, you do not need to put a jack under your Honda. Everything's accessible. Um, the key though is before you turn the engine off, turn your wheels hard to the right. And then the filter is right here. Very accessible. Okay? I'm going to put my wrench on it and uh, give it a little test. So there's the filter, put the little wrench on it, give it a little tug, and you can see it's, it comes off really easy with this wrench. And then what I'll do is I'll reach in there with my hands and do the last of it. And I have my oil pan underneath it, so you can see the amount of oil coming out. If you don't like all this oil, it's best to drain the oil pan the night before then the next morning when you take the filter off it'll be depressurized and you won't have any of this mess but if you're in a hurry here you go there you go we'll let that drain for a little while As you, uh, you want to get your drain plug clean it up discard the old crush washer where you could have leaks put a new crush washer on it and then install it back in the vehicle the way you took it out and try and tighten it to um, 29 foot pounds. Lost the camera feed, but I did get the filter back on. It's a little slippery and a little difficult to get lined up, but once it's on, you just twist it on until it's, um, it's tight to the surface. You wanna make sure you've cleaned that uh, surface uh, uh, mount uh, with a clean rig before you put the filter on. And then you can take your wrench in the very bottom, right here, where the flat spots are, and give it, give it, a, little, give it a little tug. And that'll uh, tighten it up to that nine nine pounds, but you don't need too much to get it to nine pounds, okay? Fill the ridge line. You're gonna need some type of a funnel, or some or something, in order to get the oil in there. And I, I use this device by uh, Flow, Flow Tools, and uh, you want to add uh, about five, maybe five and a quarter quarts, and then uh, run the engine a little bit and uh, check for leaks. And uh, once I went top it off, trying to get 5.7 quarts until you can. Um, check the engine cold uh, the next day or something and see exactly how much it needs to, to fill right. it up. Once you're satisfied you don't have any leaks, you can reset your maintenance minder, uh, which is very difficult to do, so I'll do it here. So just, it has a reminder, hit your home button, um, hit uh, settings, 
hit vehicle, hit maintenance info, and it's telling me I need an oil filter, tire rotation, or all-wheel drive oil. So uh, did the oil filter, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset now because I'm gonna do the oil, uh, the all-wheel drive next. And you anyways, just hit the reset button. And once you confirm, reset. And that's, then you're good to go. There you go.